Yes, Mystery Steam Reviews is the part of the PC Gaming Week spot where I, Conor Mahern, and he, Matthew Castle, test the knowledge of one another via Steam Reviews of the Mystery Variety. Uh, but if you're new here, let's go through the rules. Uh, both I and Matthew bring three Steam Reviews to the MSR Arena, but we omit the name of the game associated with each review. Our opponent must correctly guess the game attached to each review. One correct answer equals one point. While both of us have 90 seconds on each MSR, we also have help in the form of three lifelines. These lifelines can be used at any stage during battle and also pause the 90 second timer. Each lifeline can only be used once and they are as follows. Question, where the hot seat haver gets to ask a yes or no uh, question. Second opinion, where a second review is given to the warm chair sitter. And genre, where the genre of the game is revealed to the one with the warm arse. Matthew, this week, because uh, whilst we haven't been indulging, uh, well, apart from just, you know, ge general, locked, general lockdown indulge yeah. uh, indulgement, uh, our American cousins, well, they've had Thanksgiving where they've been eating loads of turkey and spuds and I don't know, whatever. I, I've no idea what a Thanksgiving dinner looks like, which is why... Uh, it's probably we've, a carrot in the mix. Somewhere, probably. Maybe some gravy, you'd imagine. Otherwise, turkey is very dry. Cranberries. Uh, yeah. Very well done. Um, but this that's why this week we have focused on video games that have a heavy food and drink slant. Now, what that means is it can't be a game where, you know, uh, the example I gave to Matthew was like, it can't be Streets of Rage 4 where you eat chicken from a bin because it just it, it replenishes your health. It needs... There needs to be... Food and drink need to be oh, integral yeah. to the game. Yeah. Now, okay. we'll see <laughs> if everyone has stuck to the brief. If everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, uh, Matthew, would you like your very first Mystery Steam review? Hit me up. Get it in my gob. This could have been an interesting game but it takes interesting cyberpunk concepts and forces it through a ham-fisted social justice warrior lens. If you don't toe the liberal political line, this game will insult you several times, says Strider. Uh, it's not recommended. It's f uh, with, And Strider played it for 5.6 hours. All right. Uh, your time, Matthew, starts now. See, I don't know if this is a parody of an asshole or an asshole. Um, it's always but, the tricky thing. Yeah, very tricky. Ham fisted. Is that a pig reference? Something food, but also futuristic. A cyberpunk concept. I feel like I could probably drill into this one if I have a second opinion, so hit me up. Ooh, okay, let's pause the timer. And uh, Matthew is using his second opinion. All right, then, your second opinion for this video game is as follows. Let me pull it up here. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is. Um, right. A mockery of human being and the fall of human society as game and as story. Last level kill this game. You sit in an office and call co-workers trying to make things work. I experience this fun five days a week. Uh, and that is your second opinion. It's from Ingra, uh, 7.5 hours on record. And again, not recommended. Uh, would you like any, before I restart the timer, would you like to use any any other lifelines? No. Oh, okay, shit. restarting yeah. the timer now. That's a fucker of a second opinion. Um, the last level you end up in an office... Uh, the last level killed this game. You sit in an office and call co-workers trying to make things work. I experienced this fun five days a week. Week, so the, what the hell? And this has got food as a theme. Food and drink. Food and drink as a theme. And you're working there and you end up in an office. It's you have all the social. lifelines. Um, can I see the review again? The first review? Uh, you can. It is. Where is it? Uh, it is here. Okay, there's a cyberpunk concert. Oh, I mean, is it that one where you work in the bar and you, um, 
you work in the bar and you make drinks like that. Probably got some. It's indie games. So it's probably got some political. I think it's that. I think it's called Valhalla. Matthew, five seconds. Yeah, that's it. Valhalla. I think it's called Valhalla. Yeah. Is that this, your this, this is that your final? Answer. Thank you for answering answer. me. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what I would say is that there are like ten games where you work in like a a bar or something. They're all indie games. I know that they're all kind of politically engaged. It's probably one of them. I think this is called Valhalla. Fuck it, let's find out. So, Matthew, a, a great use of second opinion, I thought, but it didn't quite, you know? Uh, you were, weren't entirely sure, but you have ended up, you've decided it is the drink portion of food and drink, and you've ended up on Valhalla. <laughs> I, I can think... tell you, Matthew, that Valhalla is... The wrong answer. Yes. What's it? There is a game called Valhalla, right? There is, yeah. It's like V A 1 1. And it's about running a bar, right? Uh, I've never played, I'm not entirely sure. But this game is you do play as a bartender. Well, one of the three characters. The correct answer was the Red Strings Club. Oh, that was the other one I was thinking of. And I thought, oh no, I won't go for that. I'll go for the one which I know. Because I knew it was Red Strings Club, but I didn't think it was a Red String Bar. Mm, yeah, very good, very good game, actually, the Red Strings Club. Oh, you, you mix drinks to get people to say what you it, want them to say. To the clue on that. Um, that, wasn't, that wasn't a parody. That was an actual asshole in the release. Yep, it wasn't a parody. Don't air the opinions of assholes in this show. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Fuck um, that guy. Uh, Matthew, could I have my first... Mystery Steam review, please. This game's soundtrack is by Jam. Jacket Tree recommended 4.7 hours on record, 3 point at the three at the top of review. Time starts now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll right. just do a Okay, good. Uh, better out than in. The game's soundtrack is my jam. <sighs> what game do you play as Jam? <laughs> um... Game soundtrack is my gem. Right, what? Uh, so a strawberry, raspberry, gooseberry, <laughs> orange. If you're a psycho and you That's call wrong, and you yeah, call marmalade like, orange gem. gem. No. Um, I, I, do, people do, Matthew. Absolutely. No one calls marmalade orange jam. Deviants do. Deviants do. They're the first against the wall. Too right. Um. Uh. Well. Oh shit. All right. Do you play as a strawberry or a raspberry? Uh, jam. What do you do? You eat jam. You spread jam. You open jam jars. Jam. Uh, is this my jam? Um. Oh. Question, genre, second opinion. Do you know what? I'm going to pause the timer. And I think I'm going to ask for my second opinion, Matthew. I feel like there's... Uh, if I got a little shove over the edge, perhaps. So, yeah, could I have my second opinion, please? The second opinion is Need for Speed. Need, spelt K-N-E-A-D. Oh, um, restart the timer. This is I Am Bread. Uh, it has to be. There are no other bread-based videos. Are there? Uh, Diane Bread, Matthew, Chris. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. I am Bread. You've gone with I am Bread. The clue suggested jam. You pondered the existence of orange jam. An abomination which makes me, Chris Tarrant, sick to my stomach. Thank you, Chris. Delighted we have your support. But you've had a second opinion. Need for speed. A decent pun. If indeed this game is bread related. <laughs> if it's not, answer, it's a pretty shit second review. <laughs> the correct answer is... I am bread. Yes! Good use of the second uh, opinion. Thank you very much. Knee, I, I could feel there was something there. There was something there. Delighted with that. Off to a cracking start. And so far, Matthew, bread that fought, like, you know, a bartender and bread, I think that that follows the, uh, 
follows the brief. Um, so, would you like your second mystery Steam review? Yeah, go for it. After all these years, I still suck at this game and still love it. I own it several times over on various hardware and software versions, and I guess I'll keep buying it over and over and over. And that's from Obi. It is recommended 3.2 hours on record, quick off the draw, 0.3 hours at time of review. Your time, Matthew, starts now. So I suck at this game, which suggests it's a hard game about food. It's been on several platforms. That's the two pieces of information I can take from this. Um, hit me up with genre. Hit Ooh. me up with genre. All right, then. We're going to pause the timer there as Matthew uses his genre. Is it a good use of genre? Let's find out, everyone. Uh, so the genre of this game is, according to wikipedia.org, a maze arcade game. A maze arcade game. Matthew, your timer restarts, unless you'd like to use your question. No. A maze arcade game. Fuck. What does that mean? Oh, I wasn't expecting to hear the word maze there. <laughs> uh. I mean, it makes me think Pac-Man. He eats its food. He's an eat. He's an eat boy. Like you could basically, you <laughs> could call him Eat Boy. Would be a better name for Pac-Man than Pac-Man, unless he packs it in. <laughs> um. But then, which version of this? It, well, I guess it would be Pac-Man Championship Edition, because that's been on multiple things. But I thought it had only been on 360 and PC. I wouldn't say you own it on, or is it just Pac-Man? Am I talking myself out of Pac-Man? But who likes basic Pac-Man? Who plays basic Pac-Man? I'm going to say Pac-Man Championship Edition. Is that you? I don't know. That's my final answer. So, you got the, the two main parts of that review. It had been released on multiple things and difficult. Nailed those. Then, the genre, a maze arcade game, led you to Pac-Man. And then you thought, which version of Pac-Man is this? You've ended up on Pac-Man Championship Edition. And I can tell you, Matthew, the Pac-Man Championship Edition is... The wrong answer. Oh, fuck it. What a disaster this game is. The correct answer... If it's just... Oh, it's fucking pet then. I'll the be correct caught. answer... All right, Chris. <laughs> the correct answer is... Pac-Man. And... Fucking Pac-Man. I was doing you one better, right? Because... On Steam, it's actually called Arcade Game Series Pac-Man. If you had just said Pac-Man, I was going to give it to you because I thought the Arcade oh, Game Series... Oh, that's so fucking nice of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, delight. I'm oh, glad no, you finally so addressed my, you know, pleasantness. That's so uh, gracious of you. Thank you for thank you for saying, oh, had you got the right answer, I would have allowed you a bullshit version of that right answer. Who plays... Who's like, oh, who plays Pac-Man when you can play the new Pac-Man, which is better? Because I nearly went with Pac-Man Championship, but I was like, that's too... I, I let him... Like, I'll give him the easier one, which is Pac-Man. Oh, fuck oh. it. I hope Pac-Man chokes on these pills. Uh, Matthew, could I have <laughs> my second mystery Steam review, please? Made me a vegan. k pop ellipse. Not recommended. 0.4 hours of record. Time starts now. 0.4? Made me a vegan. Hmm. Um. Made me a vegan. Right. Um. Um. Uh. Well, that's right. Okay. So either that's something like what? Where you go hunting? Because it's so vicious, like a Red Dead, where you skin the animals. Or. Oh. Made me a vegan. Uh, what do I have? Hang on. I've question and I've genre. Do you know what? Because I've, I just wonder, is this, is this a kooky, funny review? And is this super meat boy? Um, 
I'm going to pause the timer. Matthew, could I have... Could I have my genre, please? I think is what I need here. The genre of this one? Is a, a Twitch platformer or something. Some The equivalent would be handy. But <laughs> it's a very long name of a game. It's a platform game. Uh, do you know what, Chris? I'm going to say Super Meat Boy. Is that your final answer? That's my final answer. So, this is a game that turned someone vegan? You believe it might be, have been a serious simulation game with hunting in it, but you've opted for Super Meat Boy? You asked for a genre? I typed a very long name to try and trick you. <laughs> Did it work? Did it not work? The correct answer is... Super Meat Boy! Get in! Oh, I fucked it this week. Oh, I picked the yes. thing. I should have picked some fucking bullshit about Chill working out. on Chill out, pal, all right? Do you know what? Like, I, I don't... Do oh, you know, now you're all right. Oh, it's all fine. It's all fine, because you know you've won this week. What? Maybe I haven't. Who knows? You know, there's still... One there's question still, left. There's, two, it's two nil. Who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen, Matthew? Um, Unless you shoot the bed so catastrophically with your that third I lose a point. That it, that it loses you a point because you say something racist or something. Um, that is a... Uh, I, I think you're being a bit outlandish oh. there with the old I picked easy ones I this did week. pick easy ones. I picked fucking Pac-Man! Pac-Man, you said genre, an arcade maze game. Yeah, an expert use of genre from me. You also picked fucking Red Strings Club, not Red Strings Cafe or Red Strings Restaurant. Because it's those aren't club. video games. Yes, but it's a club, it's got club, you don't naturally reach for it because it's about a fucking club. It's about bartending, there's a large bartending element to it. Uh, it's, it's more about fucking strings. Matthew, would you like your third Mystery Steam review? Yeah, yes. In the end, it was about the demon friends you made along the way, colon... Yeah, I have no fucking idea. Bracket. Uh, and that is from Daddy Y Salad. Uh, it's recommended. 5.7 hours on record, 5.7 at review time. Your time starts now. Uh, I mean, it sounds like Undertale, but like... There's Undertale of food in it. I have much. Oh, does it do fit? It's food key to it. Demon friends. Is there a game where you make you get other food and you've got like a. It's one of them a potato in Undertale or a potato with a face or something. You have a very good poker face, Matthew. Do you know for not showing when you're um, <laughs> feeling downtrodden. A very very good showman. Never you know the show must go on. Uh, it's, <laughs> uh, fucking, uh, a question. Okay, uh, go on, hit me, what's your question? Does Undertale have food in it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd be nice and I'd say, doesn't every video game have food in it? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, fuck it, Undertale. So do you not want to actually ask a proper question? Yeah, that I'll was the question. That That's was genuinely the question. <laughs> <laughs> if it does, then it's Undertale. That's the, it's, that's the only game so, I think. So, it, so it, it's Undertale is your final answer? Yeah, I can't see the food connection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um... It's wrong. <laughs> oh, well. What the fuck do you What a surprise. It's wrong. Uh, bullshit week. I love food. You uh, actually, you've coloured food, be against food. I now hate food because I of mean, you. clearly you don't love food as much as me, Matthew. You just, you know, food and drink, what? it's not, it's not your what special subject that I thought it was. Demons? What, what game is it? Uh, it was After Party. Why did you go so heavy on drinks? Because
because, and this is inside baseball, Matthew texted me last night saying, is it food or food and drink? And I said, it was like, because initially I was like, it was just food. But Matthew is obviously wants to do drink ones. So being nice, I said, yeah, yeah, let's make a food and drink then. I thought you'd already done yours, so I assumed they wouldn't have drink in them. That was mind games. I was trying to make you think about drinks for mine when they in fact aren't about drinks. Uh, well, now you've told me that the, your fight, because I still have one left, yeah, that's obviously about food, so Matthew, these can fucking, I... <laughs> these fucking mind games are... I'm normally pretty good at them, I think, but this week I would say total disaster because you hijacked it and you made all yours about fucking drinks. I didn't hide. It's about food and drink. Matthew, could I have my final mystery steam review, please? Should I wipe the floor with you and whitewash? Thank you. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. 10 out of 10 award-winning game dialogue. Uncle Dick recommended 7.3 hours on record, 6.3 at the time of review. Good fucking luck with this one, pal. Time starts now. Right, well, clearly you don't realise how big a fan I am of Abe's Odyssey because I believe no, that's, no, meant, no, that's meant to no. be read as, hello, hello, follow me. Whoa. Okay. So... Um, I do like that fucking game. I adore uh, Abe's Odyssey. But the only, the only problem here is that... Is this... Like, okay, so the, the naming convention of the original game is Oddworld Abe's Odyssey. The new one was Oddworld New and Tasty. So I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to pause the timer. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, oh, unless it's Abe's Exodus and you've been an awful prick altogether. But uh, I am going to say my question is... Is this a remake? No. In that case, Matthew, I can't believe you like I froze. My, like, oh. the, <laughs> fingers, fingers crossed that this is the right answer. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to say Odd World, new and tasty. And Chris, if you'd like to ask me if that's my final answer, you can. Come on. Do you want to ask me, Chris? Is that, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. Yes. Shit, it's not called Odd World New and Abe's Odyssey New and Tasty, well, is it? So that's your final answer. Well, you, Chris, asked, you asked me if it was a remake. And I said no. Oh shit, you did! <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is Odd World Abe's Odyssey. I asked, and you said no. <laughs> that is a weird move. <sighs> what a absolute! I dope. can't believe you got this wrong, despite the fact you knew what it was. I knew what. Yeah, that's so. I can't it's, it's mind who games. Likes, it's mind games. Abe's Odyssey. Oh, Abe's Odyssey is mwah, fantastic. Anyway, oh, I got I got it wrong. Twist. What a twist. What a fucking disaster for Old I mean, Castle. You know, but what what the ultimate twist was me knowing from the get-go even how to say hello, follow me, and then to still get the fucking thing wrong. Uh, uh, so yeah, that's quite taking the twist. Some, that's taken some of the sting out of this otherwise total bullshit episode. Otherwise absolutely fantastic episode.